I think back to all the better days when I used to be young and free. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Alpha Cave. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the top five stocks to keep in your portfolio for the long term. For the very long term. Before we get to that, I do wanna say it. I hope you checked out our sports talk. We're gonna be trying to upload uh, some more sports talks videos. It's been hard because we usually do that in my dad's man cave, but with all this COVID-19 thing going on, we're trying to do it through Zoom and we're not the most tech savvy people out here. So the first one was kind of a, a test run, but it's up there on, on our channels, go check it out. And I'm gonna be proving my point as to why LeBron James is a better player than Jordan. Don't get mad yet. Wait till the next video to watch that. Also, we're gonna be talking about the best teams, whether it's the 90s Bulls, the 2000s Lakers, Spurs, or the 2010s Warriors teams, who would win in those matchups. We're gonna be debating that, so stay tuned for that on our Sports Talk playlist. Another thing I wanna announce is we're gonna be having a giveaway once we reach 7,500 subscribers. I think we've just passed 6,000 so far, so we still need a, a while to go, but share these videos. I'm, the giveaway is gonna be my second round of the stimulus check. I'm just kidding, I'm not giving that away. <laughs> That's going straight to Robin Hood where it should go. The second giveaway, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna give, but the first one we gave away some autographed memorabilia, if you remember that. And the second one we gave away 100, I think we gave away $200 gift cards or $250 gift cards, I don't remember what it was. But we're gonna be having another one once we reach 7,500 subscribers. So go ahead and share this, guys, and make sure to subscribe yourselves. Not for my stimulus check. Getting to the top five stocks to hold in your portfolio, we, we broke it down using a certain criteria. Okay, so we did some research, we looked at the companies, and the criteria we used was basically broken down into seven different things first we looked to see if the long-term trends were favorable to the company obviously that's an important thing when trying to look for companies you're going to keep for the long period of time second we looked at companies with above average returns on invested capital and obviously companies that are more likely to keep it that way those bigger companies that are more popular they have a big name brand and stuff like that so we looked at those that was the second criteria the third criteria was a strong balance sheet and a strong historical performance in times of recession, which is, I don't know if you can consider this a recession, but we're still not past this and we're still not sure if it's gonna continue going down or continue going up. So that's important for us in the long term also, because even you never know in the future, there might be another recession that we have to put up with and we need to be sure that our portfolio is safe and we have companies that are gonna be stuck in there for the long term. The fourth criteria was to make sure that the company is a premium provider in their industry. They don't just compete over price, but they compete over quality because that's really what keeps a company going over a long period of time, their quality of services, of products and stuff like that. Fifth, we looked to see if the company management had long tenures and if they're focused on the long-term vision for the company, not the short-term gains and growth. Sixth, we look for profitable growth and sustainable growth and value. And seventh, we look for them to be reasonably valued right now. We don't want them to be overpriced right now if you're barely buying into the company. So they have to be reasonably valued right now. Okay, getting into the top five. Number five, Starbucks. S-B-U-X, Starbucks. Right now it's priced at 7806 but from July 2018 to July 2019, it showed a huge amount of growth. It went from $48.98 to $99.11 within that time. Right now, in the middle of this pandemic, it's at $78.06, but I'm sure it'll go back up. You know, once people start going out, buying more coffee and stuff, Starbucks is like a caffeine drug dealer. Caffeine is a drug and people need it and they're the front runners in coffee. Not only that, but the company seems to be expanding even more. They basically have all of North America covered and they have a huge amount of customers in North America. And now they're looking to expand even to China, which has a bigger population, more people, 
and they're looking to open up more stores over there than they actually have here in the United States. So of course that's gonna help them grow more. Starbucks is a well-known company, like was one of our criterias. Everybody knows Starbucks, everybody drinks Starbucks. So they have a, they're probable to stay successful for the long term. Their balance sheets look great. Great company to hold in your portfolio for the long term. Number four, discover financial services. My uncle is a big believer in this one. It's made him some money. Right now, of course, they are down like everything else. Over a five year period, it had a slow growth. Um, up until this COVID-19, it had grown about 28% uh, over five years. And then this COVID-19 hit, it, it dropped again. But the balance sheets look great. The company is great. It's, it's different than these other uh, companies that are solely focused on credit cards discover has a whole financial system that it works with discover has this whole financial system that they work with it's not just focused on credit cards so it is set apart from these other companies i think that's what makes it a little bit more successful and and more likely for it to be successful in the long it had gone all the way up to 92 dollars and 91 cents right now it's at 40 dollars and 75 cents so i think right now is a perfect opportunity to go big on discover and wait for it to climb back up to where it used to be of course it might have an initial uh quick climb up but then it's gonna do what it usually does what it's been doing for the past five years and slowly grow okay so that's why it's good for the long term because it's gonna slowly grow not too risky but good for the long term number three one of my favorite ones apple aapl i actually own 10 shares of apple at an average price of two dollars 71 cents at an average price of 271 dollars and 77 cents and it's already made me 460 dollars within that period of time that i bought them. i talked about it in my last video i'm a huge believer in apple because technology is the future and Apple seems to be in the forefront of all these new all, all these new technical technological discoveries. They come up with a new iPhone, even though it doesn't make sense because it's almost like the same iPhone over again. They just charge you more, whatever. But I do believe in their company and I believe they're gonna keep expanding into the technology field and keep being at the forefront of this. Their balance sheets look great. They're, of course, they're a well-known company. Everybody has at least one Apple product. If you think about it, looking in this room, I have one, two, three, four Apple products in this room. And I'm sure everybody has an Apple product, whether it's an iPhone, whether it's a Mac, whether it's a tablet, iPad, I mean, not tablet, Airbook, MacBook Pro, whatever the hell it is, I'm sure you all own apple and i'm sure they're going to continue coming out with these new and improved versions that are going to keep people buying over the long period of time so apple is definitely a company that you need to have in your portfolio for the long term if you look at apple's history if you look at apple's history it's just a slow continuous growth upwards they did have a hitch at in february this year when the whole coronavirus started but they're right back to where they were before all this so it's a strong company Apple deserves to be in your portfolio. Number two, Apple was one of my favorites, one of my favorites. Number two is actually one that I'm excited about that I don't have in my portfolio yet, but I'm definitely adding as soon as I can at least one share. Alibaba, B-A-B-A. -B -A. It's at $213.40 right now, which I think is a good price for it. It's one of the largest e-commerce companies with a market cap over $540 million. I just read an article, don't know how legit it is, but from a legit source that said, at the beginning of 2020, Baba was trading at $220. And in four decades from now, those each share is gonna be worth $2.1 million. And I don't know if it's true or not, but I believe it's worth the risk of at least putting that in my portfolio. So. Baba definitely getting a place in my portfolio and it should have a place in your portfolio for the long term also. If anything, fractional shares, get what you can of Baba, see what happens and give it a shot. But that's definitely, it, it's a good company. It shows consistent growth and I think it's worth 
being in your long-term portfolio. So give that one a shot. Number one, of course, you already know what it is. My favorite one. No, not CRISPR. I'm over that one. Google. G-O-O-G-L. It's worth $1,406 right now. And I do own some Google. Let me check how much it is. I own 1.19 shares of Google right now in my portfolio. And it has made me $31, which is not much. Google has one of the best, if not the best balance sheets of all these huge companies. It has over $120 billion in cash and just right around $4 billion in debt. Plus their earnings are still growing. They still show growth. Besides their search engine, Google has YouTube, Android, Google AdSense, Google Maps, Google Cloud, and many, many other things. They're also the leading technology and driverless technology, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And you know that eventually we're gonna be in cars that are driving themselves and driving us to places without us having to do anything. Their balance sheet gets a five out of five. Their popularity and their use in the long term, five out of five. Google is probably the best company to have in your portfolio, especially for the long term, but it's also gonna give you some short term growth. So I definitely recommend getting some shares of Google. Even if it's just like me who can afford a fractional shares of Google, can't afford too many right now, keep adding it up over time and it's gonna pay off in the long term. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe, share the video with your friends and we appreciate you guys. Stay safe, wash your hands, love you all. As we live, always chasing, hearts racing. When I'm with you, I'm just saying back to all the better days.